Hey guys, Bob Black, Bob on Bass. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today we got something really interesting to take a look at here. This is a music man, Ernie Ball Stingray, Ball Family Reserve, fretless. Stick around. <laughs> So, okay, as usual, I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about the instrument, if anything. This is a really nice finish on this. This is, um, it's kind of like a cherry yellow sunburst. Yeah, gold hardware, bridge, all the knobs, tuning keys. This is a flame maple neck. Um, roasted. Obviously this is a five string. I used to play a five string. For almost 20 years I played a five string, but now I'm back to the last couple of years I played a four string and that's kind of like home for me. And a fretless, I think. I played on two recordings, two sessions in my life I think I played a, a fretless on. It was a Padula. But this is, they've come a long way. This is really nice here. Um, this is eight and a half pounds, which is great for a five string. Unlined neck, as you can see, there's no lines or anything on there. So you gotta be right on with your intonation for sure. This is, uh, this is a limited run too. This is number, I believe it's number 33 out of a total of 105. So it's a great item also for her collector. Yeah, really nice. So, anyway, we've got volume, we've got treble, uh, mid and bass, and we got a three-way selector here. I believe the first, yeah, the first uh, towards the neck here, I think that's series. Then we got single coil, and then we've got parallel. And so I've got everything flat right here. The bass, mid, and treble is flat. This is going to be in the neck position. So this is series. for the single coil. A lot thinner there, isn't it? At least to my ears. And then finally, uh, Parallel. Okay, that's the three, three different selections there. I'd probably have it here in the first position or the third. And I would probably cut the treble down. This is just my liking. Boost the bass and boost the mid. That's more my uh, sound right there. I could live with that. One thing I don't like about it is the neck is is that gloss finish. Here in Florida, especially with outdoor gigs, it gets pretty sticky. But it sounds pretty good. Let's put a uh, beat on. Let's see. Thank you. 
strings on it. Those are the strings that it came with. I guess some, what happened was somebody ordered this and then said, this is pretty hard. <laughs> and yeah, it is. So they returned this. Originally, this was like, it was about three grand, but now it's selling for 22, 2,300. Now, that's not a bad buy. Now, I don't use a fretless too much nowadays, but... one for your collection this is certainly not a bad one to pick from let's try a different uh, a different rhythm sounds pretty darn good. I mean, it's really high quality. These are hard to come by. I know it's got an 18 volt system here, two batteries in the back. Gold plate. You see that flame? It's almost like a, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's like a hologram looking into the neck here. It's really cool. That flame roasted maple. Very, very nice. Very nicely done. Very lightweight, I'm surprised for a five string. I think this is about the same weight as my four string uh, Stingray. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me on my channel today. I hope that was helpful. If you're interested in something like this, man, this is a really nice one. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the string spacing is. It feels like, it could be like 19, it could be like standard spacing, which I, I, don't, I can't stand a five string when the strings are too close together. I wonder if, you know, how, how this would be if you slapped it. Because it's kind of like an epoxy on the neck here, which, and, and this has flat wounds, but I might be tempted to try this with rounds. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, please hit like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again next time.